New here at 6 o'clock tonight, the I-Team is uncovering new information tonight about the flash flooding disaster in Lemonster and the questions there about dam safety. The WBZ I-Team has learned that the city was warned several times to fix its aging dams. But as WBZ's Christina Hager shows us, they turned out to be empty threats. Filling bags with sand before rain Saturday. We don't need this next storm. It's, it's the least thing we need right now. It's also had crews racing to backfill the damaged Barrett Park Pond Dam. During Monday's downpours, part of a wall gave way, sending water gushing downstream to Pleasant Street, about 500 yards down, in front of this home hanging over a crater. The couple that lived here had no flood coverage in their homeowner's insurance, their son, Andre Obin. Despite you know the the you know losing my inheritance potentially like I I could have lost my folks simultaneously. The WBZI team has obtained a series of letters the state sent to Lemonster officials after an inspection flagged it structurally deficient and in poor condition as far back as 2006. The Office of Dam Safety slapped the city with a non-compliance certificate and a safety order in 2008. Another letter of non-compliance in 2015 and again in 2017. Over nearly 20 years, state officials never followed through with threats of fines. Lemonster's mayor says designs and permits to replace it were finally done before this happened. Well, there are others that should have been replaced that were more important. And I think the state and the federal government have to understand with everything that we do every day, you, you can't possibly play catch up. For now, all this new stonework you can see that's been added in just the last couple of days. And now Lemonster's mayor and public works director say they are confident this dam could hold up to any rain in the forecast. They also say other communities should consider this a dire warning. We asked for a list of other crumbling dams, something the state has not yet shared. My parents paid home insurance for 40 years and flood insurance isn't included. I think that's something that people that are, you know, downstream from anything at this point should consider purchasing. Use us as a lesson. For the I-Team, Christina Hager, WBZ News.